had a uh, subscriber ask for a walk around video of all the ATVs and go over the stuff we've done and other stuff like that. But here, here's my try at that. This is a 2009 Grizzly 700. Has 14 inch, uh, some kind of rims. I don't even know what they are. It's got 27 inch big horns. Yesterday we just installed the uh, new one-way bearing as it went bad and made a horrible grinding noise when you would let off the gas. We put that in and it's working a lot better now. It's got a 24-inch uh, uh, just eBay light bar. Works pretty good. We haven't had any problems out of them. Got the same one here on my Rincon. This is a uh, it was a 680, but when I got it, the previous owner had swamped it. So we uh, rebuilt it, put a big bore kit in it. So uh, it's, I've dubbed it the uh, Rincon 710, hence my name. When I put the cubes down there, just for fog lights, I have a uh, Power Mad hand guards, uh, homemade snorkel kit. Um, what else? A custom built exhaust. It's just the stock exhaust gutted and completely reworked with a pipe going through with holes. And it sounds much better than it does stock. But um, these are 25 inch Maxxis Zillas. I was going to go with 26s, but I didn't want to lose any power. But it, it does really well. Actually, at the uh, 2016 Windrock Jam, Spring Jam smashed the rim into a rock. I actually bent it back out, but you can see right there. Peel it on the rubber back. Just cheapo aluminum rims. So I'm actually going to get some custom rims here soon. And I hit the same rim, or hit, hit both rims on the same rock as it was pretty dusty and I went around a corner. You can see that. It, that's after hitting it back into place with a hammer just so it wouldn't leak around the bead. But I have uh, Bronco shocks on the front. Um, has a uh, 2,500 pound worn winch. I've got LED strips running along this bottom seam on the headlights. Just to give it a cool look. Let's see. You flip that on, Lena. And you flip on the light bar. That's the other one. Now the cubes. It's pretty bright. I like it. I also put some nightshades on my taillights. Just a little glaze over them just to make them darker. And then I uh, trimmed up these back fenders as they would rub the ground when you do a wheelie. So I trimmed those up. I think it gives it a more aggressive look. But with the work I've done to the motor and the exhaust, I got a uh, EJK um, fuel programmer. It's made by Dobeck. It's the uh, Gen 3, not the 3.5. So you, you can add fuel, but you can't take it away. And honestly, I don't see why you would want to take it away, being it's getting more air. And I've got Pivot Work front wheel bearings. As they've gone out several times, but I've replaced those and finally found the ones that are the best. So there's the Rincon, and last but not least, the k and Commander Max. This is a 2015, it's on 30 inch EFX Moto Claws. It's got beadlock wheels, 6 inch Super ATV lift kit, you can 
see that right there. It's all new uh, risers and trailing arms, new axles extended. Those are the original shocks, but we kept those on there versus putting on the stiffer springs as it came with them to uh, make it ride better. It has uh, custom mud guards on it right here. As well as in the front. It's got blinkers. 4,500 pound Pro Vantage winch. It's got a 44 inch light bar on it. It's also got a fully enclosed cab with uh, doors you can see right here. That's actually the windshield. There's doors here. And it has a heater in it for the winter when it gets really cold out. We've got interior lighting, the sunroof in the, in the top, or moonroof as they call it. We put that tarp over there to keep everything dry as it flings a lot of mud. There's a uh, 24 inch light bar for a backup. They're all pretty bright and they'll have worked well. Being their price, they're pretty cheap. I mean, you can get 44 inch on eBay, I believe, for how much was it? Like 50 bucks. And then the 24 inch for like 25. I mean, that, that that's pretty good, I think. We've, we're all running the, the same brand light bars, just China brand. And they've, they've all held up. So here's the, uh, the whole gang. Yamaha, Honda, and Can-Am. I like the Honda, but whatever.